she's shown throughout the wire and you know, exhibited a lot of places. But one time, when she was back in Ireland, she found herself in Galway in a little village called Roundstone. And Roundstone, just offshore, there's a little island called Inishlappen. And she fell in love with the whole place. She loved Roundstone and the community atmosphere of it. And they took her to her, their hearts as well. But when she got back home, she was telling someone about her adventure down in Roundstone and in Slacken. And her friend gave her a book called Three, My Three Men on an Island. And this was written by a guy called James McIntyre. I'm just checking the names. <laughs> um, and he spent the summer there in 1951 with his friend George Campbell and their Dylan, Gerard Dillon. They all three were artists. You can still see Gerard Dillon's work in the Austin Museum, so he's quite well known. Anyway, this trip to something in Rosie it inspired her basically, as she thought, you know, the artist, artists should come back to the island. And she decided that she'd set up what she called the Inishlappan Project. She set this up in 1920, oh, sorry, 2001. Uh, and so it's been going for over 20 years now. And it invites artists of all genres. So that's poets, writers, dancers, singers, and obviously fine artists. <laughs> um, so she had brought the island in a way back to life because when the three artists were there in 1951, it was a, it was a thriving community. There was fishing and there was farming and things like that going on. When she went back, it had been totally deserted. It was just tumbled down cottages and so on. Now, some of the people who used to live in the island live in Ironstone. So she was able to take them there and say who lived where at each tumble down cottage. So it was really quite sad about the um, the abandonment. But it's a sense of both a sense of community and a sense of abandonment that you will see in Rosie's artwork. Um, apart from you know her summer school, so that's the Latin project, it has started to encourage more people to come back, and especially people who their family used to live in the Latin but migrated to all over the world. But I don't want you to think this is a sad story because, as you can see, Rosie's work is full of symbolism and it symbolises things like, um, well, if you look at the fishing nets, for example, and these are the skulls that you'll find in the, and the fish as well, these all symbolise what the trade used to be, you know, so that's the past. But there's also a lot of things about hope 